we decided to examine this issue of quantity increases versus price decreases, which are expressed in percentage terms, which is also a very uh, uh, frequently occurring uh, phenomenon, particularly in the retail world. I'll give you more of something in the form of a bonus pack, or I'll cut the price, and they frequently are economically equivalent. So I give you 50% more, or I cut the price by 33%. They're the same, particularly if it's coffee beans, and I say you can buy as many as you want. They're exactly the same. And so some initial empirical work showed us that people tend to prefer 50% more relative to the 33% off. And the question is, why does this happen? And it turns out that if I tell you you're getting 50% more, as opposed to I'm dropping price by 33%, people ignore the base, the base value, and they focus on the, the magnitude, the absolute magnitude of the percentage, and say, aha, that must be a better deal. They don't do the arithmetic to figure out which is more or less attractive. Then we ran a series of studies to determine what are the conditions under which this effect will happen and what are the conditions under which it will go away. How can managers use this? And it turns out, long story short, it turns out that when um, the product is relatively inexpensive, when the product is relatively familiar, that's when this happens more. If it's an unfamiliar product or if it's an expensive product or if people are able to do the math carefully, uh, then uh, the, the error disappears. The interesting thing is this doesn't, this is not restricted only to quantity increases versus price decreases. These are good things, right? A quantity increase, I'm getting more. A price decrease, I'm getting a, a better economic deal. It happens in the opposite direction as well. So if I reduce quantity, and increase prices. And there are lots of conditions under which firms have to increase prices. What should they do? Should they raise prices or should they reduce quantity? And it turns out, again, people prefer the quantity reduction relative to the price increase because the loss is smaller. The, the absolute magnitude of a 33% reduction in quantity is deemed to be smaller than the 50% increase in price.